Okay, um, what I want to do is I want to show you how to find a line um, given two points, and what we're going to use is we're going to use slope intercept form. So if you remember, slope intercept form is y equals um, mx plus b, where b is your y intercept, and m is your slope. All right, so now from here, uh, what I need to do is I have my slope and I have my y intercept. So from here, what I first need to do is I need to figure out what my slope is. So if you remember, I can use my um, slope form, or I'm sorry, my slope formula to find the slope. And if you notice, those are both x coordinates, but I'm going to label one, one x coordinate one and the other one two, just to distinguish between the two. So therefore, this is y1 and this one will be y2. So therefore, now what I have is um, y2 minus y1, I'll just plug them in, negative 4 minus 4, all over 9 minus a negative 7. Well, negative 4 minus 4 is a negative 8. That becomes a double negative, which becomes a positive 16, which equals a negative 1 half. Now, once you have this, um, you have the slope. So I have y equals a negative one half x plus b. Now, I still don't know what b is. Remember, b is my y-intercept. So the way I can figure out b is I can plug in one of my points. And it doesn't matter which point you pick, but what you can do is you can plug in one of your points to find b. So let's do that. Let's pick a point. Um, I'll pick my second point. So remember, that's my x-coordinate and that's my y-coordinate. Now, I know I have little twos up here, but we can just erase those twos because all those were used for was to distinguish them between our two points. But I'll go ahead and plug them in. Uh, as a, this as a negative four equals uh, a negative one half times nine plus b. So therefore, negative one half times um, nine is gonna give me a negative four equals a negative 4.5 plus b. Then I'll add 4.5, and what I get is 0.5 equals b. Or really, one half equals b, right? I shouldn't have usually transferred to decimals, but it was pretty easy right there, so I decided to. So therefore, b equals one half. So now I just add that information to my equation. And there you go. Now I've figured out the formula, or the equation on my line, given two points using slope-intercept form.